Hey guys, Charles here for HumbleMechanic.com. Uh, today what I want to show you is how to check and replace a fuse in your car. Uh, you are looking at the fuse block for my Passat. Um, the reason I'm shooting this video is I had a customer come in the other day and uh, I think the only thing she was complaining about was her 12 volt outlet wasn't working. Uh, it was a cigarette lighter when I was a kid, but now we have to call it a 12 volt outlet. It's pretty much what I charge my iPod with. Um, anyway, I gave her a couple of extra fuses just in case it were to happen again, and I told her just you know replace the fuse, and I showed her which fuse was the problem, and she looked at me like I had five heads, and uh, it seems that she had never replaced a fuse, didn't know where her fuses were. Um, so, you know, I just obviously assume that everybody knows that, and that's probably really unfair of me. So I wanted to shoot this video and show you guys what I'm talking about when I'm talking about replacing a fuse. Um, this is on the driver's side of my Passat, right next to where the door shuts. Um, this right here, little Craftsman plug, is a test light. Uh, it's a little bit nicer than the one that I have in my toolkit for the car, um, but it is a lot easier to show you guys what I'm talking about. So before we get started, let me pop one of these fuses out. This is a vehicle fuse. Um, it has a little element in the middle that, uh, that that's the piece right there that will blow when you have a high current draw. And then you notice it says 25. I don't think you can see it very well. There we go. Um, there's two metal prongs on it that you can use to test the fuse while it's still installed in the car so you don't have to do what I did and pull it out and then forget where it goes. I think it was right here. I'll watch the video and make sure I got it back in the right spot. So anyway, uh, to test the fuse is super easy. Um, I have the one end of my test light clamped right there onto a metal part of the vehicle. That'll be the ground side. And then I'm going to go ahead and find a fuse that should have power on it. Here we go. You just put the test light on one end, glows nice and bright. Move it to the other end of that prong, glows nice and bright. So that's a good fuse right there. Um, let's say I put the fuse on this side and it lit up like that. And then I put it on this side and it didn't, like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tool on a Volkswagen or the pliers from your toolkit. All you need to do pop the fuse out, you'll see that little center piece right where the tip of the pliers is pointing to. It'll be probably a little black and separated. Throw that away, take your new fuse, pop it right back in. I usually try and double check. Uh, power, power, good to go. That's it. Um, something as simple as that can get you out of a bind. Uh, the common things are 12 volt outlets and interior lights. If you look right here at this fuse, you notice it looks a little different than the ones right around it. Um, that was my interior light fuse that blew whenever, I don't even remember. Um, but I just went ahead and replaced it just like I showed you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Again, this has been Charles for another Humble Mechanic video. Thanks.